Hi, in this demonstration I'm going to show you how a major golf company uses power scripts to onboard new employees as an example of the power of power scripts. Now what, what are power scripts? Power scripts are basically a secure wrapper around PowerShell commands and scripts that you write once and deploy many times. You can safely deploy this out to anybody on the help desk, junior service desk people and so forth because they don't have access to the underlying credentials and they don't have the ability to modify the script. All they can do is execute it. So let's bring this to life with an example. Let's say I've got a new hire and I want to bring that person on board. So first I'm going to do is uh, search for the manager. In this case I'm going to use myself. So I type in uh, a search string and what Vital Signs will do is bring back all the things that match that. So whether it's a user or a mailbox or a group or a team, whatever it is that you're going to execute the command against, you first have to search for the object. So now I've found the object and I just double click and now I'm presented with a list of scripts that I have the ability to run. So I could copy a user's OneDrive files from one user to another as a part of a departure script or I could give somebody access to a mailbox. Uh, in this case what I want to do is onboard a new employee. So once I select the script that next you're prompted for the various parameters that the the script accepts and so in this particular company there's lots of different domains that could be assigned for the email so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pick one from the list. You see that for some parameters you can just be prompted and you don't have to remember. Now I'm going to put in uh, first and last name. So this is test user. That person is going to be based out of London. Their title is uh, janitor and uh, bird watcher. I don't know. Just make it up a title here. And the person is a contractor. So these are all the parameters that the script requires. Now I go ahead and push the execute button and it will go off in the distance and run the script and that's all there is to it. I don't even have to wait for it to finish. Now what's going on under the hood? So let me go over to the PowerScript settings here. Now normally a service desk person would not have the rights to do this. This is only an admin user. You see I'm logged in as the administrator here. I can go in and take a look at the actual scripts. So this particular script is the new hire process script. Let me edit that. Uh, basically it's just standard PowerShell. Again, anything that you can do in PowerShell you can do as a power script. Really the only thing that you have to do to change it is take the places where there is a uh, prompt for the end user for a parameter and instead just put those all up front here and the parameters can be you know a validate set it can be a string it can be a number uh, it can be again anything that PowerShell can do and then you go ahead and execute the script some of that stuff could be on-prem AD where you're talking to um, a domain controller some of the stuff could be out in the cloud where you're doing stuff and using your credentials against your Office 365 tenant the script can be long or it can be short, but in the end, what it's doing is just coming down here and creating a new Active Directory user. So we're calling the commandlet new AD user and we're passing in all these parameters. The most important one is this last one here where it says change password at login and you're setting that to true. If a service desk person could run this script on their own in the PowerShell ISE, there would be nothing stopping them from setting that attribute to false if they were malicious and then they could impersonate that employee until such time that the employee goes ahead and changes their password and nobody would know otherwise. This is a perfect example of a repeatable process that you want to have it done exactly the same way and you want to make sure that either through uh, ignorance or malice the person cannot make a mistake and they just go ahead and run the script and it's done and it's just that easy.